Today we were talking to Giuseppe in Italy and Naples. We're taking part in a virtual field trip about pasta. I've got quite a few questions and I just hope no one else said them. <laughs> and plus I do like food. Let's go to Nick Mill in Edinburgh where Miss Miller Star is waiting. Hello children! Okay, let's go to St Anne's in London where Mr Lancaster Star is joining it. As soon as we spoke to the children about the fact that they were going to see live footage from Italy and have an opportunity to talk to someone who's actually out there producing and making the pasta, they were really excited about that element. They're also excited about the fact that there are other schools across the country who are going to be involved in the broadcast and seeing them and hearing their questions. Do you use different ingredients to make different kinds of pasta? At what age did you start making pasta? What's the most important thing you need to think about while making pasta? Unless you can go somewhere close to, to school where the children can walk or, or can use free public transport, it makes it very expensive. To go around the world and take a piece of the world into the classroom for the children is a much more, more efficient way of doing it. And it, I think it's a very good idea. The idea of the Tesco online field trips is a fantastic one, particularly where it can link in to the school's curriculum and fit in very nicely with the current ethos of the school around sort of looking at international aspects. Showing them how the dough is prepared, how it's extruded, how pasta is dried, well, hopefully destroy the legend of pasta grown on the trees. My experience in the past is they think carrots will come from a tin. So it's showing them where the food comes from, how far it's come from. A lot of children, they maybe go with their parents to the supermarket, or but they don't necessarily go to farms or factories. So it's good for them to see the whole process of how the food gets to the shelf. And also hopefully taking it back to their family and encouraging them to cook the foods and learn more about them. I've made pasta before, but I think I'm going to go home and make it again. People are taking a lot of time out of their life to make the food that we eat. And you feel more grateful that it's come onto your plate. Using technology for pupils' learning is a really exciting prospect. And the fact the project itself is so well structured and organised means that it's easy for us as schools to get on board and get involved. Yes, I definitely really want to do more of the online virtual field trips. I would go to France and see how they make croissants. I, I would like to go to China and see how they make their um, stir fry. I think I would want to see Japan and how they make sushi. It's a, a way of bringing what they're learning in the classroom to life. <laughs>